Hungarian Revolution of 1956. The Hungarian Revolution of 1956 was a countrywide revolution against the Stalinist government of the Hungarian People's Republic and the Hungarian domestic policies imposed by the USSR. Initially anarchic, the Hungarian uprising was the first major nationalist challenge to Soviet Union's control of Hungary since the Soviet army ended the Nazi occupation of Hungary at the end of the Second World War in Europe in May 1945. The Hungarian Revolution began on 23 October 1956 in Budapest when university students appealed to the civil populace to join them at the Hungarian Parliament building to protest the Vassar's geopolitical domination of Hungary with the Stalinist government of Ntiz Rekosi. Although initially willing to negotiate the withdrawal of the Soviet army from Hungary, the USSR repressed the Hungarian Revolution on 4 November 1956 and fought the Hungarian revolutionaries until 10 November. Repression of the Hungarian uprising killed 2,500 Hungarians and 700 Soviet army soldiers and compelled 200,000 Hungarians to seek political refuge abroad. During the Second World War, the Kingdom of Hungary was a member of the Axis powers in alliance with Nazi Germany, Fascist Italy, the Kingdom of Romania, and the Kingdom of Bulgaria. In 1901, the Hungarian military participated in the invasion of Yugoslavia and in Operation Barbarossa, the invasion of the USSR. In the event, by 1944, the Red Army were en route to the Kingdom of Hungary after first having repelled the Royal Hungarian Army and the armies of the other Axis powers from the territory of the Usser Fairful of the Red Army's occupation of the Kingdom of Hungary, the Royal Hungarian government unsuccessfully sought an armistice with the Allies, to which betrayal of the Axis, the Nazis launched Operation Mark to establish the Nazi government of national unity of Hungary. Despite those politico-military efforts, the Red Army defeated the German and the Hungarian Nazis in late 1944. In 1949, the Rákosi government tried and convicted Cardinal Jessef Mizenti to perpetual imprisonment for treason against Hungary, for having collaborated with Nazi Germany in realizing the Holocaust in Hungary, the religious persecution of Hungarian Jews, and the political persecutions of Hungarian communists and of Hungarian anti-Nazis. On 30 October 1956, General Curley's National Guard attacked the building of the Central Party of the Hungarian Communist Party and killed the every pro-Soviet officer of the Hungarian Communist Party of policemen and the pro-Soviet Hungarian soldier they encountered, and most Red Army troops withdrew from Budapest to garrisons in the Hungarian countryside. In pursuit of political resolution, Khrushchev said that Erndzer's 23 October request for Soviet intervention indicated that the Hungarian Communist Party retained the confidence of the Hungarian people because the Hungarians were protesting unresolved socio-economic problems, not ideology. On 30 October at Budapest, Anastas Mikian and Mikhail Suslov spoke with Prime Minister Imran Nagy who told them that Hungarian geopolitical neutrality was a long-term political objective for the Hungarian People's Republic, which he wanted to discuss with the Presidium of the CPSU. Khrushchev considered the geopolitical options for the Ussers resolving the Hungarian anti-communist revolution, but Nagy's declaration of Hungarian neutrality decided his dispatching the Red Army into Hungary. After the USSR defeated the anti-communist Hungarian revolution, the revolutionists criticized the CIA and their RFE net for having deceived the Hungarians into believing that the West, the NATO, and the US would expel the USSR from the Hungarian People's Republic. 5,939,743 for 3, 